I'd like to explain a little bit about my philosophy, what I mean by honoring your spiritual compass. Uh, basically, I'm saying trust your instincts. Trust what comes out of your essential self, not the overlayers of fear and attitudes and protections and defense. Let me tell you a little story that illustrates my point. When my boys were little, they played Little League Baseball. And I do remember one game when uh, one of the kids that was on their team was up to bat. And at this game, his father happened to be watching. This kid was a really good hitter for a little kid. He hit that ball hard every time. And he gets up there and he swings at a pitch and his father starts yelling uh you're hitting behind the ball hold the bat this way you know at every pitch the father is yelling telling him what he should be doing and the kid can't hit to save his life all of a sudden and then the coaches get into the act and everybody's telling him what he should be doing it just made him a nervous wreck all these voices coming into his head you know, telling him, you're not doing it right, do it this way. I just watched all that happen and I felt so bad for that kid. And I just wanted all those people, all those big adults who are yelling at this little child, I just wanted them to just let him be. He was fine before all that started. So it was, it was sad because at this level you stayed at, at bat until you hit the ball well. And after so much of this going on and on, with the father yelling and the coaches yelling, they just sat him down without hitting the ball, which was like, made it even worse. And I felt like I had to correct the situation. So uh, as uh, unnoticeably as I could, I casually walked out onto second base between innings where the boy was going. And I walked over to him. I forget his name now, but I said to him, you're a good hitter, right? You don't need anybody to tell you what to do to hit a ball, do you? And he said, no. I said, good. I said, when you come back up there, don't listen to anybody and just do what you naturally do. Do what you always do. And on the very first pitch, he smacked that ball way out there, hit a home run, <laughs> and he, you know, and he ran all around the bases and he crossed home plate and he ran up towards his father and said, ha, you know, I'm not encouraging that, ha, but you get my point. You see, we have all these times when, like this little boy, we start acting out of fear and lose confidence in ourselves. And because we've had weak moments, we go into a weak moment and then we rely on some external attitude some uh, even self-generated attitude, you know, and we get defensive and protective and we don't do what comes naturally. And we don't trust our instincts and we don't trust ourselves to just naturally do what we would do. And that's where it all goes wrong. And that is the philosophy behind therapeutic spiritual counseling, honoring your spiritual compass, just let your inner thoughts and your mind emerge, tell you what you need to focus on. What you should pay attention to. What you need to look at. What you need to process. What you should do. And a great part of my work is inviting you to give yourself permission to honor your spiritual compass. Not disregard your thoughts as being random or irrelevant when we're trying to resolve something. Whatever comes to mind is exactly what needs to come to mind. You don't need to create attitudes, programs, voices, habits, routines, uh, defensive program solutions. I will deal with this this way. I won't deal with that. 
when this happens, it means that. You know, all these pre-programmed prejudices and attitudes and reactions. Just be and just have what comes from inside of you. That is your spiritual compass presenting exactly what needs to be presented. So trust your instincts, trust yourself, trust what comes to mind. That's honoring your spiritual compass. Nothing works better than that. And you can ask so many of my clients and people who work with me who learn more and more to not dismiss what comes from within in favor of holding on to some uh, fixed solution, some this is what to do when this feeling arises or the situation arises. Be present with whatever is emerging, whatever is presenting itself. Have it. Trust your instincts. Trust what comes to mind for you. It works brilliantly. This is the basis of therapeutic spiritual counseling and honoring your spiritual compass. And I suggest and invite you to experience what this can do for you in sessions, as well as in your life, your decisions and your actions.